Well, this is truly exciting. Each part of it is going to be a little bit of dramatic experience, but on an intimate scale. I've actually seen the pictures of this entrance lobby before restoration started, and everything had been painted with whitewash. Immediately, you understand that what Sir John Soane was about was the full experience, including colour and drama. Progress by Hogarth, uh, which shows, of course, that the effects of too much money on a playboy as he dissipates his way through life. John Soane himself was much too canny to follow this sort of uh, experience. There were so many reasons for Soane needing to build this place, and he came here in 1800 in a frenzy of excitement and got going almost immediately. He saw this place as a sort of Roman villa, a picnic villa with the park spreading out. It was a show house for his ingenuity, his ideas and his influences. He was, at this stage, the principal architect in Britain and what he was doing was demonstrating his capacity to create wonders for people. And if you go up to the very top of the house, there are the servants' quarters. And there, he's created a great big lantern that sits on the top of all the rooms and sheds light into each of them. So the whole thing is about light. That's really what makes him such a modern architect. Just the most beautiful, joyful room. It's the colour. The beautiful blending of the tones, but full of little Johnstone touches. Individual ideas. The fireplace is extraordinary. It's really low to change the proportion of the room. The research that has gone into bringing it back is extraordinary in this restoration. And look at this ceiling. It's a result of local people who really cared about this building, but it's also a result of Ealing Council saying, well, OK, it was a library, let's see if we can bring it back to life again. And that meant going to the Arts Council and the Heritage Lottery Fund, who've poured money in to see this place come back to this life. It's not finished yet. The real work begins when the last tile goes <laughs> on the roof because to keep a place like this running needs constant support. And if you feel that you might be able to help, then don't stand back, get involved. Mm -hmm.